Easter Sunday, everyone. I'm so glad to be alive and above ground and to see another Easter Sunday 2024. I am so, so happy and feel so blessed today. I went to church, so I just get back from church. So I'm going to make some fried fish and some brown stew fish for my aunt. She don't like when the fish is just fried. She like when it fry and cook up. So I'm going to make myself fried fish and I'm going to make her brown stew fish. So first I add some, to my oil, I add some scallion, onion and garlic to flavor the oil. And I season up the fish with all purpose seasoned black pepper. You know, you can find escovige fish on the channel. You can find fried fish on the channel. So you just go and check it out. But this one has already seasoned because I season it overnight. So I'm just going to place it in the pot to fry. I will make rice and peas today. You know, as much as it's Easter Sunday, I just have me some bun and cheese. Because I remember when I lived in Jamaica, when I was little, my mother just make bun. And we make bun and cheese. We have bun and cheese. And with our fried fish. Fried escovite fish and bun and cheese. And then we might get a little ice cream from Master James. The little only known ice cream man in the area. We'll get ice cream from him. But he made homemade ice cream from that wooden bucket and that pan inside of the wooden bucket it was made ice cream yes because i was born in comfort hall manchester and i grew up in saint elizabeth balaclava saint elizabeth but i was born in a little area called canewood manchester and i was raised in balaclava saint elizabeth yes yeah. And I worked with one of our local doctors for many years, Dr. Cadian, Dr. Dermot Cadian, for many years. And I worked at the clinic too, the health center, yes. And I attend the Balaclava Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. Yes. And my name is Margaret, and I'm writing recipe from the age of 10. And I love to create my own recipes. Never sick. I just have to make sure the oil is very hot. So I'm going to brown up this and I'm going to cook it down. Brown stew for my aunt and then I'm going to fry. Yeah. I'm going to fry two snapper. One for her and one for me. So we're going to let the next side go then. And then we just put it in a plate. And then I fry the snapper. Remove it and put it into a bowl. I have more than one frying fish and escovite fish on the channel. So you can go on the channel and find it. So this I just season and let it marinate overnight. I'm adding a teaspoon of the butter. Come on. And I'm just gonna add the vegetables. And I'm adding some garlic powder, onion powder, and black pepper. That's what she likes on this food. A little garlic powder. A little onion powder and black pepper and a little salt. Small amount of black pepper. A pinch of salt. Garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper. And a pinch of salt, cover and let steam.
this is all frozen vegetables so it makes its own water because the vegetable is frozen i put them in the pot frozen so it makes its own water and she like it cook tender she don't like a crispy vegetable she like it to be very tender and chewy so i'm gonna let it cook for at least 20 25 minutes she like it chewy she don't like it crispy so I put it on low and let it stay and cook for at least 25 minutes. This is the lovely Easter Sunday platter. So I'm just gonna, and I'm gonna serve my aunt and you're gonna see how she eats it, you know. This is her fish. She likes this type of fish. And I'm gonna give her some of the sinapa, but I'll remove the bone. She's 90. You don't want her to be going in a hospital because of bone there you have it your delicious platter for the family so I'm going to give my aunt some and you're going to see her eating. But let me put a little bit more of the pimento sauce on here too. A little bit of the pimento sauce. It's very good. So just dip a little bit. It's delicious, the pimento sauce. And that's a lovely platter for your family. So let I'm us gonna... pray before she eats. I'm going to pray before she eats. Yeah, go ahead. Huh? Let me pray before you eat. All right. You must bless her food. I always just bless the channel when I'm going on to it. So I don't, oh, yeah. I don't bother bless. I just bless the whole channel. Just bless that the video come out good. Mm -hmm. That's what I do every day when right I make path. a video. Right path, yeah. So we are going to pray and today is resurrection day. Amen. The Lord had died on the cross for us and he rose today. Amen. Memorial of his risen today. Amen. So eternal God and most righteous father, as we come today, Lord, bless this food that we are about to eat, Jesus. Provide for people that does not have any food, Lord. Lord, remember each and every one today, Lord. And as we go on to our new week, Lord, Lord, bless each and every one, Jesus. Provide for each and every one, Lord. Provide for all of the healthcare workers, Lord. You know the tile, you know the work very hard in the hospital, Lord. Lord, I'm asking to bless each and every nurse, doctors, porters. You know them by name, Lord, and you know them by number. Lord, eat and tea. <laughs> Oh, you know, I just need a little bit of bun and cheese later. I know you, you see how my aunt eat, and that's why she don't put on no weight. She don't take off any weight. She eat healthy. She just like vegetables and, and protein. That's no, it. No pain. No carb, and she have no pain, you know. Blessed be the rock no of her sickness. salvation. No yes. Sickness. No sickness. Yes. <laughs> yes, and I hope everybody is happy for Easter. I'm always very, very happy. I might not pray every time I come on the show, but I pray before I start the show to ask God for guidance and whatever I eat and whatever I put in my body, make it be nourishing to my mm -hmm. body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.